Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up some breakfast hash browns. Potatoes. That's what I said. <laughs> you might hear the sound of a dog jingling jangling around. You might hear a bark. A random cat meow. We're in a new kitchen. New to us. Semi. We're at a house sit in Mexico. If you're interested in house sitting information or Mexico information, I'll have links down below to our travel channel. But for right now, it's all potatoes all the time. So we're gonna get our oil heated up, boom, boom, boom. Now I like cooking uh, hash brown potatoes with bacon grease. That's a nice combo when you're making bacon and hash browns, blah, blah, blah. But this is a vegetarian household where we're house sitting. So we're going to sans the bacon and just do kind of like some uh, garlic butter potatoes. Pretty good stuff. Now while our oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my potato. Just got one potato, but it's a pretty good sized potato. And for two people, this is a lot. Now when you're cutting up your tater, the key is to make the pieces uniform. You know, it doesn't have to be an exact science, but you want to make them kind of as uh, much the same size as possible. So they'll cook evenly. And you don't want the pieces to be too large because we don't want to be cooking it all day. Although it's going to take a little bit of time. Because you can't rush them because you don't want your potatoes to be crispy on the outside and raw on the inside. So you got to cook it low and slow, don't you know. So I'm basically going to dice it into some uniform cubes. You know, and ideally for these kind of skillet potatoes, you know, you want them about this size here. You know, that way they'll cook up in a reasonable amount of time and you'll be having your potatoes for breakfast instead of for lunch. Boom, 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 and that's an awful lot of taters. And I think in the amount of time that it has taken me to chop that tater, our skillet should be nice and hot and our oil should be hot. Because you don't want to put it in here if the oil isn't hot. Boom, boom, boom. You see that sizzle? You can kind of hear it. That's what you want. You want it to start cooking right away when it hits the pan. And then we'll just kind of get our potato mixed up in the oil. Get them nice and coated. And I didn't peel the potato. You know, a lot of times for hash browns, you know, you can peel the potato. But uh, I don't know, that wasn't just didn't sound very appealing this morning. But I'm fun. As you can see, I got my burner as low as it'll go. I mean, that's that's pretty good right there. That just happens to be as low as this one's going to go. And now we just have to exercise some patience. So we'll let it cook away and get a little bit of color on here. And I'm using a nonstick skillet. If you're a masochist, you can use some other kind of skillet. But if you like life nice and easy, use a nonstick skillet. Alrighty, while our potatoes are sizzling away, I'm going to go ahead and chop me up some garlic. This is fresh garlic. I've already got it peeled. And I'm just going to give it a wacky whack. Is the dog in the background? Because I can't afford to have a dog in this video because dogs are too cute. And it's key that I'm the cutest thing in the video. Dog, you're out! Because I'd have to have the dog sign a waiver. And we all know... Dogs can't write. <laughs> I think that dog wants to be in show business. And you can use as much garlic as you'd like, but too much is always the right amount. <laughs> so just give everything a mince, mince, chop, chop, and about this size is the right size. For this recipe, all you really need, all you really need for these garlicky, buttery home fries is garlic, butter, potato, and a little bit of oil, and some salt. That's all you need are those ingredients. But I had a little bit of jalapeno left over, a little nubbin of jalapeno, so I'm gonna throw this in here for flavor and spice and color. And then I'm also gonna throw a little bit of paprika in here. Is that when smoked I make, paprika? This is smoked paprika. Yes. But any kind of paprika. I just like paprika and hash browns. I've also got a little bit of salt. This is garlic salt. You can use regular salt or garlic salt. This has got some dried parsley in it because that's just what's here. Butter, garlic, salt, potato, oil. That's all you need. What is that? That just happens to be how many fingers I have. Cinco. All right, so they're still sizzling away. Been going for about five minutes. I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer before I turn them over. Like I said, low and slow, buddy. 
been sizzling away for about seven minutes now. I'm gonna give them a stir so they can start coloring up on the other side. Get them all mixed up, turned around, then we'll spread them out again and let them sizzle away. We'll come back and check on it in a few more minutes. Beep, 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 beep. All right, they've been sizzling away there for a few more minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my jalapenos in here. Boom. I'm just putting the jalapenos in about halfway because I want the jalapenos to cook a little bit longer than the garlic, but it's, it's still way too early to put the garlic. So I'm throwing the jalapenos and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my seasoning in here. Like I said, all you really need is salt. But I got garlic salt, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the paprika here too. That's my personal taste, but if you don't have paprika, don't sweat it. So we'll go ahead and get it stirred up now. We'll go ahead and let it sizzle away. I would actually have this a little bit lower heat-wise than it is, but that's as low as this burner will go. Let's let it go for a couple more minutes, Kendra. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so they've been cooking for about another five minutes, and I've been giving them an occasional stir. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a little well here in the center of my taters, you know. That's a, in the cooking business, it's called a tater well. And you can put as much butter in here as you want. That's a lot of butter. Wow, I thought that was cheese. You thought that was a block of cheese? Decadent. So now I'm gonna take my garlic and throw it in here. Lots and lots of garlic. And you want to wait near the end to throw in your garlic and butter. It'll give it that garlic butter flavor flavor. And low and slow on the potatoes. You see my potatoes are are just about ready. They got a nice little crispiness on the outside, but they're done on the inside. You don't want your skillet so hot that you get that crispy brown on the outside, but the potato's still raw on the inside. So cook it slow. Then I'll throw it all together and let it go for a, a final minute or two, and then that'll be it. Man, that smells so good, that garlic and butter. Don't be shy with the garlic. Don't be shy with the butter. And while that's going, finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and heat me up a little skillet for my eggs. Because with breakfast, you know, timing is everything. You gotta think about it beforehand. It's a lot like sending men to the moon. You know how uh, NASA sent men to the moon? They thought about that, I mean, weeks in advance before they actually <laughs> A lot of planning. Since we're in Mexico, we'll go ahead and serve our eggs on tortillas instead of toast. Mm -hmm. Dogs love eggs. Maki Maki taters. Is that going to be enough potatoes for us? <laughs> so boom, boom, boom. You ready to wine and dine without the wine? Yeah. All right, let's head out into the Mexican morning for breakfast. Come on, VOG. How's the light, camera girl? You look fabulous. Okay, let's put this over here. For ambiance, how's that? <laughs> yeah, okay. And that's all there is to some garlic butter potatoes. Some nice little crispy edges, but it's got a lot of butter on them. So they're very buttery, creamy, delicious. Now a little bit of heat from the jalapenos. You know, you don't have to do that. I recommend it. Holy yolk, Batman. You know, if you want to have some easy peasy Buenolificus uh, potatoes for breakfast, then I try this uh, garlic potato recipe. <laughs> CG says she hasn't combed her hair. So I can't put her in the video. Or can I? Here, I'll just leave the top of your head off. So how are those? Are they are they garlicky enough for you? Yes, they're delicious. Butter garlic hash browns. The ultimate breakfast date food. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, if you want to check this recipe out, go to myfoodchannel.com. I'll have a link down below. You know, thanks for watching all our videos. You know what I mean? If you want to check out our travel channel and our uh, Mexico travels, I'll have a link around here for that too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the future.